Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak. Today we're going to look at the SC joint and the ability to inferior glide. So what you're going to do is you're going to palpate the clavicle. You're going to go to the SC joint. Okay, you're going to have your fingers on top on both sides. And when the patient elevates their shoulders, you want to see does that clavicle inferior glide. So if you can see on this side, this one doesn't. It's stuck up. It doesn't go back down, come back down. Then it'll show up when they do abduction or their end range activities. So what you want to do is we'll test it again, bring your shoulders towards your ears. You want to see that, go to the end range and give it a little bit of a glide. The left side doesn't glide down. So I'm going to give you two techniques. How do I regain that range of motion? The first one utilizes shoulder flexion. So what I'll do is I'll come in through here. I'll palpate that joint. And I'll palpate until I start to feel movement of that, of the SC joint. Start to feel it there. And I'll give a little bit of an inferior glide with my thumb and gently, isometrically, push your hand towards the ceiling. So push up, hold for four to five seconds, and relax. And what you can do, then you go to the next, to the next barrier. You start to feel movement at the SC joint. Give a little bit of an inferior glide with your thumb. Same thing, push towards the ceiling. And relax, that's one option. Option number two is have your patient come to the side of the table. And we're gonna use, we're gonna extend it. So we're gonna internally rotate and then we're gonna extend the shoulder. The same thing we're gonna do, we're gonna palpate that joint. We go back down until we start feeling some movement of that joint. We assist it a little bit and then gently try to bring your arm up to the ceiling. It's really gentle, good. And relax. Wait a few seconds. Okay, then you go to the next barrier. So as soon as you start to feel the SC joint start to move again, you pull down, give it a glide, and then have them push up towards the ceiling. Two, three, four, five. You can do that four or five times, and you go back to the center of the table. And then what we can do is go back, as we always test, we retest. So what I want you to do is bring your shoulders towards your ears, and you'll see, and there's a better end feel, so she got better range with that. And then what we'll be able to do is exercise appropriate to maintain that range. Rob Shapiro from Technique Peak.